sometimes I wonder if I should be considered an adult or not, and this is one of those times. <laughs> I don't even know how to start this video, it's, it's weird. <laughs> and mildly embarrassing. So I am fortunate enough to have acquired some BT21 merchandise. So BT21 is this group of characters created by BTS and released by LINE. And the ARMY is just going crazy over these characters. Like, it is so difficult to get anything. Well, as you can see, I did manage to get some things. Some things from Mercari and then other things from stalking the Amazon page. I'm clearly not biased at all. And don't be questioning my authenticity, I made sure that all of these are official. I have a favorite. <laughs> I really like Mong, or some people say Mang, it's whatever. What I love <laughs> so much about Mong, <laughs> his nose is heart-shaped like J-Hope's mouth <laughs> when he smiles. <laughs> <laughs> It gets me emotional. And I've still got that same squeaky chair, so just ignore the... So J-Hope designed this adorable creature, and it's just precious. It's adorable. Yeah, he's like my favorite person ever. Besides Zacky Vengeance, I'm loyal. Well, since we're already at this point, I might as well just show you all the other mom stuff that I have. This is getting really off track. This is supposed to be about makeup. So I got the notebook and pen, and this is just so adorable. Come on. I had to get the magnet because the J-Hope picture on my fridge wasn't enough. Obviously I have like the little pillow and the big pillow and the stuffed animal and the keychain and the shirt. I got sh the shirt and I got the mirror as well to keep on my bedside table. The cup. Um, I love coffee so much. This is... A blessing. Girl, I would get those shoes if they made them big enough. I was size 8 in elementary school. Come on. <laughs> that was too real. <laughs> and of course I have the headband. As soon as I saw J-Hope wearing this headband, I died a little inside. And I came back to life. And I thought, I've already done a Mong inspired makeup look. If I could do like a makeup tutorial wearing that headband, that would be the most adorable thing ever. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm taking my Morphe M407 and my Sugar Pill Pro palette in the color Taco, and I am putting Taco all over my lids as like a base so I can add some bright colors on top and make them really pop. Side note, I already put concealer, my Tarte Shape Tape, all over my lids to cancel out the color of my like veins and stuff. <laughs> Taking my Morphe M433 and Dolly Pop from Sugar Pill, I am adding this to the inner third of my eye. And I'm not just sticking to the lid area, I'm also going up into the crease, so the entire inner third of my eye. I'm really layering this pink on because I want it to be super vibrant like Mong's heart-shaped nose. I'm taking my Morphe MB20 brush and the color Filter from the Lime Crime Venus 2 palette and I'm putting this on the entire outer third of my eye. I'm winging it out a tiny bit just to get it in a slight cat eye shape. And once again, I'm not only putting this on the lid, but I'm also bringing this up into that crease. With my Mary Kay Concealer Brush and my NYX Cosmetics Vivid Brights Cream Color in Sugar Rush, that was a mouthful, I am putting that on the blank space in the middle of my eyelids. And of course, like with the last two colors, I'm not only putting it on the lid, but also up into the crease. Then I'm blending out the edge between the purple and the other colors. Using Paper Doll Eyeshadow from Sugar Pill, I am just going over the purple base with that same brush, pretty much just to set that purple cream color. And also the shadow has like little sparkles in it, so just to add a nice little sparkly touch. And I'm starting the process of blending that purple and blue together, so I'm going over the border trying to soften it. And of course in that process I did lose some of the intensity of the blue color, so I'm going back in and deepening that blue so it like actually shows up on my lid. <laughs> then I'm taking Paper Doll again and blending that with the blue to create a nice transition. And then I'm going back in with the pink again and blending that with the purple. 
Now with my Morphe M562, this brush is amazing at packing on color. I am taking Dolly Pop, and this is my last attempt at getting this pink as bright as possible. I'm taking my IT Cosmetics brush cleaner on that same brush, and I'm reapplying filter, that blue color. It's pastel, so I really am trying hard to get this to show up as dark as possible. With my current favorite blending brush, my Morphe M506, I am going to start blending everything out. I have no product on this brush, I'm just taking it around the outline of my eyeshadow to soften the edges. Taking the Morphe M562 again, I am using that to bring all these colors down onto my lower lash line, starting with filter. I'm using this brush because the bristles are spread out enough to blend everything out and because it's dense enough to pack on the color. Now I've cleaned the brush and I'm applying Dolly Pop to the inner half of my lower lash line. So if you'll notice, I did half my lower lash line blue and half pink. I'm not actually going in with the purple, I'm just like mixing the two in the middle. I'm using my IT Cosmetics Black Gel Liner Pencil to tight line my eyes. Then with my angled Morphe MB32 brush and my L'Oreal Infallible Gel Liner, I'm going to start doing the winged eyeliner. I don't have too much to say about applying liner except that my product is almost completely dried up and it took some extra work to get it to apply to my eyes. Then I'm using my MAC Fascinating White Eye Coal to line my waterline. And I'm not going to leave my waterline white, I'm just using this as a base so that the color I apply on top of it is going to pop. And with my Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm using the color Twerk using my Morphe B16 and I am applying that in my waterline on top of the white liner. The white liner really gives this eyeshadow something to stick to so it won't wear off my eyes throughout the day. I'm also applying this color below the waterline and applying it on the lower lash line. I'm also dragging this color underneath the winged liner, but I'm not bringing it down as far as the other colors. The different Mong merchandise has different coloring for Mong's mane and tail, but I feel like this particular blue falls somewhere in the middle of that color range, so it's perfect. I'm using the Morphe M506 brush again with no product on it just to blend out everything one last time. Now with the brush that came with my L'Oreal eyeliner and my Stila Magnificent Metals in Into the Blue, I'm applying this on the lower lash line, but only in the center, not anywhere else, not the outer corner, not the inner corner, just the center. And then I'm bringing that down into like almost a triangle shape, kind of like my eyes are dripping glitter from the middle. With my Clinique High Impact Mascara, I am applying this on my lashes, and only the upper lashes, not the lower lashes. I'm using my Morphe M213 and this highlighter color from my IT Cosmetics Contour Palette. And I'm applying that highlighter to my brow bone. And I'm also using this as my inner corner highlight. For lashes, I'm wearing these Gothica lashes from Fright Night Cosmetics, you know, like the Halloween lashes. Then I'm going over it with that L'Oreal liner again just to hide the lash band and the glue. I'm taking these Firefly Individual Lashes from Sugar Pill, and I am only applying two of these, and I'm placing them on the outer part of my lower lash line. Now, I chose these lashes because they have little shiny blue dots on them, which ties into all the blue in this look. For lipstick, I'm wearing this Bare Minerals lipstick in Go All Out, and this lipstick has the best formula of any lipstick I've ever tried before. With that same highlighter from earlier and my Morphe M510 brush, I am highlighting my cheeks. And it's very subtle, but this highlighter actually has a little bit of pink to it, and I really thought that hint of pink would tie in really nicely with this look. And there you have it. That is how you do your makeup like dancing king of my heart, Mong. So if you like this video, then subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot more makeup stuff, and I will continue to be a hot mess. And the last thing I'm going to say is that I hope they do not continue to release adorable merchandise like the headband, because... I am tired of spending so much time and money on this BT21 stuff, like. But I'll just see my subscribers in my next video. Bye guys.